Want to know a secret? Our first damask pattern onlay was the most popular onlay in the world. And that inspired us to make another one. Look at that. Ever try to make a leopard print cake? You know how hard that can be and how hard it is to be realistic. Look at that. An onlay can place those spots perfectly on the surface of a cake. Give this a try. You're going to love it. This is our Fleur de Lis masterpiece. I don't know if you notice it, but these are half Fleur de Lis that frame a big, beautiful Fleur de Lis in the middle. Fleur de Lis are great for almost any occasion, and they're great for man cakes too. Something new. Here's a beautiful rose with leaves. It's our first flower with the silicone onlay and it makes a beautiful piece that works on top of cakes, on side of cakes, and even on cupcakes. It's tremendous. We've stretched our boundaries with this one. This is our first organic design inspired by the great Elisa Strauss. This is what we call our bird onlay. Absolutely stunning and a glimpse of what we're going to be getting into in the future. This is called Splash. It's basically droplets. I love this design. If you make it in green, it looks like leaves. Remember, you can use this part of the onlay or take what you see on the cake, take that out of the onlay and use the centers. You can use the onlay both ways to create incredible designs. Man cake. This is great for military. We call this the Savvy Chevron. It's a modern design. It's really clean, but as you can see, it has those chevrons, kind of like a sergeant stripes. Um, it's a manly design. And so those of you who struggle with a man cake, we highly recommend this, but like if you did this in white on white, it's absolutely stunning and really classic at the same time. Many of you have asked me to create a houndstooth pattern, okay? Now, houndstooth is the print on my chef pants, but after I saw it on a cake, it's absolutely stunning. Houndstooth, nobody's seen it on a cake before. So, our last year's line, there's the Moroccan lattice, our second most popular style. And so we know that you like these really cool lattices. This is called an eye cat. It has nothing to do with felines. That's the name of it. And it's another beautiful lattice. You can use it both ways. You can use this design or take that out of the onlay and put the spacing that you see here, that would go on the cake. You can use it two ways. It's absolutely stunning. You've probably never seen a pattern like this. We call it hugs and kisses because if you look at the pattern, we have our X's and our O's, X's and our O's. This can be used for so many applications. Hugs and kisses. We call this simply triangles. This is one of my favorites. I don't know, maybe the camera is doing it, but it's so precise that you start getting that optical illusion movement kind of thing. Now I know some of you out there are saying, oh, I can just cut those and put them on the cake. Well, have fun. I can do this very, very quickly and absolutely perfect. It's called Simply Triangles. This is called Sparkling Bubbles. Think Champagne. We've arranged this pattern so we have larger dots on the bottom and effervescing towards a real fine pattern at the top. Very classic, very cool. Give this one a try. It's called Sparkling Bubbles. We have the hibiscus medallion here. Absolutely perfect. Great topper for cupcakes. Wonderful for anywhere on a cake. So lattices are the most popular onlays that we make. This one we call Daisy Chain, inspired by the great Marina Souza. 
and it is an absolutely great onlay to use for all kinds of applications. It can be very bright, it can be very playful, yet at the same time it can be very classic on a cake. This is called Daisy Chain. I know you'll love it.